Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. Many of our people are dying by the eating of damaged food. I went into snake farming. I did not stop there. I processed and packaged it for easy cooking just for you and you. Technology is the future and I represent technology. I do not just create designs, but I use backgrounds, emotions and culture to make fashion art. We have researched and developed a process where we will take plastic and recycle to create raw materials for other plastic industries. I need to feed over 25 million malnourished Nigerian children. Without laying them with cement, saving you mortar, cement, water, even the bricklayer's labor. I discovered the solution to the problem of post-harvest losses in Perico. This next one I want to talk about today is biogas. You know, guys, as we deliver our life, they do to generate waste. Those ways, if we convert them to money. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. Housemates. Yes, housemaster. All right, Doom Doom. Yes, housemaster. A very interesting performance today, leading the troop. How was it? Well, for me, it was a physical exercise, All but right. based on the task, it had to do with our mental exercise too. So we came out this morning, and what I noticed is that we worked out more, but we are not really tired. Not really tired. Yes, because, because we, we, our mind were engaged, our body were engaged. It so. was fun. Yes, it was and fun. And then you had this interesting style you brought up today <laughs> during the exercise. How did you come up with that? How, 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 what, what's going on, Doom Doom? Tell me. I don't know. I was just being me. That's Doom Doom, right? Yes. Okay, now it was good. Can you clap for Doom Doom? This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. Today, the show is taking a new turn. We are gradually heading to where we have to find and locate that outstanding industrialist. The one who will go home with 25 million naira, 10 million naira, and 15 million naira respectively. The game is getting tough. I hope you're ready. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. We are the business development faculty from FIRO. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. My name is Adibisi Abibat Shanuse. See you sample rice plates and pops. Yes, you have it's cereal. It's cereal. It's cereal, right? Yes, right, cereal. It's yeah. flakes and pops. How is it? It is very delicious. No, not delicious. It's cereal. There's something, there's a general or common feature in a cereal, right? The, what the brand you mentioned, if you yes. pour it in a, in a plate or a bowl, yes. you mix your water, your beverage, yes. and how is it? Yes, it's, yeah, it's very enjoyable. No. You can have it with milk, yogurt, no. or any desired drink. When you mix it and you take it and put it in your mouth, it has to be crunchy, it has to be crunchy right? Is your cereal crunchy? Yes. How do you, have, have you done um, sensory evaluation? Yes, it is. Well, how, yeah, what is sensory know. evaluation? Sensory, yeah, sensory evaluation is you know, preparing it and giving people to the taste how it looks, um, using, making use of the sense organs to know, to evaluate the product. You said so, you have to be careful about what's about gluten. If gluten was hazardous to the body, all cereals have gluten. Yes, some people react. That's, that's what you should have said. Okay. But you just said now, it's hazardous. That means you generalize your consumers. Okay. You would have said some people react to the gluten in cereal. Yes. Automatically, your product is done for such people. Right? Yes. yes. But you're saying it is hazardous. People are going to come after you for that. Okay. Because you can't back it up. Okay. So be careful exactly what you say. For the first time, 25 entrepreneurs and technopreneurs will be competing for the star prize of 25 million, 15 million, and 10 million naira, respectively. The stake is high. Adrenaline pumping. A former industrialist is about to emerge. Watch the show online by downloading the CFlex app. All you need to do is to go to Google Play Store for Android device and on iOS App Store. Also watch online on www.lashantv.com or you can join us on Star Times on channel 173 Super Screen. You can also tune in on Terrestrial on UHF channel 45 Super Screen TV to watch our daily show Monday to Saturday 6.30 to 7pm 
and Sunday live shows 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. live from the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Osho de Lagos. Repeat broadcast every day from 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show brought to you by the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Oshudi, and Lashon Links Communications Limited. For more inquiries and advert placements, please call 0906-000-3320. Fuel House, industrialized in Nigeria. I am the CEO and CTO of Amplitech. How much do you sell your um, bean flour, right? Yes. How much do you sell it? Um, it's not for 500. For, for 600 grams. Where? In Lagos. How much is it in Elisha? In Elisha, we sell for 350. How did you arrive at those two price differences? Um, in Elisha, we understand that um, the economic um, financial uh, atmosphere there is a bit low. So our packaging is a bit reduced so, so as to justify our price. But in Lagos, we have increased, improved our packaging so that we can actually justify for so that means you are telling me you have two processing lines, wow. the Lagos market and the Elisha market. Yes. Is that not expensive to do? It's not because we go run the secondary packaging system. So the primary packaging is what we sell in Elisha and the secondary packaging is what we sell in Lagos. So all we just have to do is like when we just sell straight up, we sell, then we have the ones that comes to Lagos is actually included in the secondary package, which is what we sell. What's your factory? Price, like the factory price. price. Yes. In uh, product twenty five for the six hundred kg comes down to about one hundred and eighty nine per product. Per product. Then why is selling for three fifty? Executive summary. South Synergy is the company, and um, we're into snail farming, processing, and packaging. Why do you think I should prefer your product to other products in the market? Okay. First, one of my major the strength is the size of my product. Why did you go into snail farming? For me, I discovered that snails need a lot of wet soil and they need moisture and all this. And where I come from, most times the soil is wet because it rains a lot. Yes, but my final question. You must realize that you are pitching your product. Yes. You've not sold to me why, as you said, snail has this and that and this and that. To what nutritional benefits is it to the consumer? That is what you need to sell to the consumer, letting them know these are the nutritional benefits in my snail. You just told us about it without linking it to the have, consumer. I will I prefer it yes, to other okay. products in the market. Okay. Because we will not be the only one that sells snail in the whole of the okay. market. Now, this company is an offshoot of uh, you know, the Australian campaign. And uh, my market today has done for them to produce cosmetics, that is. Uh, skin glowing, herbal, uh, medicated, soft. Right. Oh, you said you look around the whole market and you haven't seen the, the, that kind of skin glowing, in the market. dual action soft. You mean in your states? Yeah, not that was, the a, that, of that was a, in my location. No, no, okay. yeah. You're getting your project implementation wrong. Oh, she yeah. also got it wrong, you are also. Your project will just start from the process to the kickoff of yeah. the all business. Right. All right. So you have to be able to all of you should work on that project implementation. All right. It's very important. Right. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. My name is Bambe Abosede. I'm into production and processing of rural crunchy chips. A ready to eat breakfast theory made from millet. For one kg, it's 3,000 packs. For one kg? Yes. It's in three, uh, a, pa a pack is 300 grams. Do you understand? Do you understand what that's The raw material millets. The millet. Unprocessed, unrefined, just raw. Yes, sir. You wait to go, you wait to your weighing machine. Yes, sir. Let's say it's five pounds or whatever kg. <laughs> but your eventual output is 50 kg, according to what you said, a day. Yes. How much tons or kg of millets do you require to get your 50 kg of millets? What work quantity of millets yeah. do you process to get your 50 kg? I said I use 50 kg millets per day. 
and it is packed in 300 grams. No, no, how many, what quantity of product, what is the uh, weight of the final product? 300 kg. How many packs of 300 kg do you have from that? Packs of 300 grams. Yes, how many? 73,000. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Sunny BME. I run a 3D manufacturing company. And the raw material is not what you can source in Nigeria. Now, the raw material is not sourced in Nigeria. I would have to go into the production of the filaments myself. Can you mention the companies? The companies. Okay, the one I know is I can't get the name right, but yes. and I want to know if you will mention Fugo because we actually have a 3D printer. Do you have a process development division in Fugo? I've not. So if you've done your study, you would have brought this up that we actually have something at the institute like okay. this. Also, no. Your 3D printing, which area, which industry or which sector are you actually focusing on? I intend to provide services for all industries. I don't want to focus on that's a mistake you're making. Okay. Your product is not for everybody. You can eventually diversify and yeah. spread out. Okay. Why not put it as part? Because what we are trying to do is to uh, encourage local content. Okay. Now, exporting, bringing in, uh, uh, importing in this product uh, is not ideal for our economy. So we're trying to encourage, so why not include this as part of your business, uh, your business plan that you're trying to look at a backward integration whereby you can locally manufacture your raw materials. And if you're manufacturing your raw material locally, you can also sell for sell. other All companies that. that you think yes. they are using this. So it's going to help you. This is a local content show. We are not trying to enrich other nations. We want to enrich ourselves. So try to look into that aspect. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. A drink what? A dream tail designer. This is branded and I make fabrics. This is um, tie and dye. And that's why I was very interested when I got into Firo for the tour yesterday, knowing that it can happen here. Knowing that when you win the money or when I win the 25 million Naira, I will be able to invest in that technology, tie and dye. It is my dream come true. Did you sew this you watch away? Oh yes, I made this. Okay, this tell was important. Sorry, it. but this was you me. Say, you tell, you, you, you tell this, the story, right? Yes. Tell us the story about Okay, so now I personalize this. My confirmation name is Gabriella. This has Ella in it. This is made from vinyl glittered material, and I printed this and placed it on this. So it actually gives me confidence anywhere I go when I wear things that I customize for myself. So what story cotton. are you projecting? Okay, so this is a playgirl, a girl that is happy, a girl that is excited, and that is why I'm wearing a pop socks, um, my sandals, very bright colored, and um, what I'm wearing over here. So with 25 million naira, what was your, what's your main need or major need right now in taking your business to the next level? Okay, currently I go out to um, a printing company that has the GraphTech CE 6060 machine that does the vinyl cutouts of my silhouette to do the printing and branding for my clients. I really want to have that in my space and I have understood that machine because of my relationship with these people over the years. Mates, yes, sir. can you see her passion? Yes, sir. Nobody has given us this kind of passion. Thank you, sir. Nobody has given us this kind of passion. She's so sure of what she has to offer She's certain of who she wants to sell her product to. Most people, uh, most, of, most of the housemates that have come are talking about other aspects of the business. But she is sticking to, this is who I am, this is what I have to offer, and this is whom I want to offer my product to. That is what everybody wants to see. That is what investors want to see. Even if she's making stories, even if she's blabbing, we can see she's passionate about what she's trying to do. All I'm trying to do to you is just to destabilize you, to be honest with you. But she has not fallen. She's still moving and moving. Maybe we might still get there. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. My name is Adewale Adebola Emano. I run Blazing Enterprises. Comparing to the uh, traditional blocks yes. now, let's look at the traditional blocks. Yes. Now you are doing another type of block. Yes. Which I have not seen. Yes. I have the design. I know. I'm not. I'm not disputing you. What I'm just saying is this. A regular customer that wants to build out uses the normal traditional block. Yes. Either the normal traditional or the clay, the, the you know the, the, normal red, the red bricks. Yes. The red bricks and the normal yes. uh, ones that we deny or six inches yes. block that yes. we use. Mine now, looks like the nine inches. Nine block. inches I use. Now, you're telling me that look, 
you want to use this, you you just fix it yourself. Yes. yes sir. There won't be any cement. No, sir. Now, if breeze comes, please. Oh. Yeah, you know that uh, you have to work every You can't spend millions of dollars. It's a very common question. And when that, uh, yes. so when will that blow your house off? It's a very common question. <laughs> if you're familiar with the software called Autodesk, yeah. Autodesk has a lot of suits mm. that you can use. There's Marvis Walk there, uh, there's uh, Inventor, many others. Now, this has been used to simulate these questions you have in terms of wind speed that's axial loading against the blocks, and it will stand. It, so far, it, in fact, it, we, got, we went extensively on it such that we even simulated an earthquake uh, uh, scenario mm -hmm. and it still doesn't go down. Okay. It's the same way your bridges are being built. Your bridges are not fixed units. Your okay. bridges have spacing in between where you put dampers. If, you, if, you're build, if your bridge were a rigid body, it will fail. So the fact that it's not rigid is one of the contributing factors that makes it solid. That's a good business, don't so worry. You drop like I'll consult you for my household. No <laughs> for the first time, 25 entrepreneurs and technopreneurs will be competing for the star prize of 25 million, 15 million, and 10 million naira, respectively. The stake is high, adrenaline pumping. A former industrialist is about to emerge. Watch the show online by downloading the CFlex app. All you need to do is to go to Google Play Store for Android device and on iOS App Store. Also watch online on www.lashantv.com or you can join us on Star Times on channel 173 Super Screen. You can also tune in on Terrestrial on UHF channel 45 Super Screen TV to watch our daily show Monday to Saturday 6.30 to 7 p.m. and Sunday live show 7 p.m. to 8 p.m live from the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Osho de Lagos. Repeat broadcast every day from 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show brought to you by the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Osho de, and Lashon Links Communications Limited. For more inquiries and advert placements, please call 0906-000-3320. Fuel House, industrialized in Nigeria. I'm Franklin Nadozi, and uh, I'm into production of dog feeds using uh, brains. A, a I process technology. Okay. What and what you mix together for you to get the, the feed. Okay, I go online, I do for the researches, then I have puppies to that grow up. So I use them at the particular stage with my dog litters. I use them as experiments on this particular product. Dogs die to no, they don't die. They don't die. So the only advan competitive advantage you are bringing in yeah. is price. Yes, price and quality of the grains because I'm sure of these grains. We get it directly from the farms. So what innovation of your If it's the same thing, why would I want to buy your product? It's the same thing that you imported according yes. to what you said. Yes. There's no innovation you put into your product. Better. There is an innovation I'm bringing in by the technology I'm using to create mine, to make it easier for you to use. Instead of cooking, you can just put it in water. When it soaks, your dog can take it. How many variants of this feed do you have? Just one. Just one? So yeah. one size fits all dogs? Yes, it fits every dog. But well, in the market, there are different variants, am I correct? That's a, let's say it's a market strategy. My name is Udua Kudo, Your availability. We always we, we look into getting a factory close to the source of the raw material. Okay, we source our raw material from the creeks of Niger and banks of rivers. Banks of rivers? Yes. And do you have enough quantity? Yes, we, we should have enough quantity whenever we know. There are enough quantities actually. In business there should there should not be shoot because if you do not have enough raw material then you cannot satisfy your customers if the product goes out of season. It's, it's, is it a seasonal uh, raw material? It's not. It's not seasonal. Yes, it's not seasonal. But there's a peak period. Yeah, actually there is a peak period. There is. So how do you not deal with the off-peak period? So off-peak period, what I do is I have to just buy and keep against the off-peak period. I feed them or I put them in mode as it is required. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. Adenike Olomide Emmanuel. I'm the COO of Adenike Seller Products Limited, where we produce and package shea butter to go on the shelves for the modern market. How do you get to know the natural content of the We'll take it for laboratory testing. You will take it or you have done that already? We've done that already. 
Where did you do the analysis? We did it uh, somewhere in Surulere. I can't actually remember the name right now, but the company is in Surulere. Is it NAFDAQ approved? Oh yes, we got the contact from NAFDAQ. What are your challenges and how would this 25 million aid you in defeating or overcoming those challenges? My major challenge right now is marketing. And um, beyond winning the 25 million, the money will go a long way to help building the factory and all that. But I think coming into Firo House alone is you know, giving me publicity also. It will make people to know about the product. And then when I win the money, I can also go into major marketing campaign. My name is Ike Noba. I'm, I'm the founder of Oba Bio Biomass Energy Solutions. You said about this. Yes. Now, market for about this. Yeah. To me, I've never I've heard of people selling about the zoo in, in quotes in Nigeria. You see, we are used to this conventional uh, conventional fuel. Yeah. So what do you, do you think that is actually a viable business for you to go into at the stage at which we are as a nation? Okay. Oh, as a nation. Yeah. Biodiesel. Yes. Now, in the biodiesel, we started it newly, and that is what I use to pour my, 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 my machine. And that is you? Yes. Are you the only one that will use all the product they are doing? No, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. Because you want to sell to me. Yes. I'm not yet aware of the product. Yeah. Uh, there are no, I can't say there are, there are companies that actually do the product that is known in the nation. Yeah. So you see, it's going to be an issue for you to tell me to come and invest in a, a business that uh, I believe the market is not yet at the stage it should be for you to, to put my money in, into. You get me? But for your briquette, you could say no problem. Since it's in the rural area, you could look at people that are using firewood to, to cook and target them as your, no, I don't have any, but the bow, uh, bow, the bow diesel, to me, as an investor, is a, for now in Nigeria, is a no. For the first time, 25 entrepreneurs and technopreneurs will be competing for the star prize of 25 million, 15 million, and 10 million naira, respectively. The stake is high, adrenaline pumping. A former industrialist is about to emerge. Watch the show online by downloading the CFlex app. All you need to do is to go to Google Play Store for Android device and on iOS App Store. Also watch online on www.lashantv.com. Or you can join us on Star Times on channel 173 Super Screen. You can also tune in on Terrestrial on UHF channel 45 Super Screen TV to watch our daily show Monday to Saturday, 6 30 to 7 pm, and Sunday live show 7 pm to 8 pm, live from the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Osho de Lagos. Repeat broadcast every day from 11 30 am to 12 pm. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show brought to you by the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Oshudi, and Lashon Links Communications Limited. For more inquiries and advert placement, please call 0906-000-3320. Fuel House, industrialized in Nigeria. I am Oga Rosemary from Cross River State. I am the CEO of Easier Closer Resources Limited but I normally prefer to be addressed as head marketer, HM of the company. I bring my product to you. What is your benefit? I know I'm going to get my money back sure. from you. But what is your own benefit? How then do you get your own money? Like I said, we give SGBs 12 to 14 months. Thereafter, they have a second form to fill with us. When they, they, we get to charge them a certain fee, we give them option once in a year payment or twice a year payment. So we get our money. We make good money from it. All right. Thank you. My name is Ayam Jennifer. The company name is Afrerise Ventures. That's great. Thank you. A rich woman. <laughs> wow. Are you the one that sold what you're wearing? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. So if I want to sew that kind of a dress, how many yards will I use? Just for your size, just two and a half yards. Two and a half yards? yards. Yes, ma'am. Oh, what's the length of this material? The length is that it for me. Tet, I, no, as in the material. I'm not talking about the gown. I'm not talking about the gown length. Okay, the material. The material itself. What's the length of the? Okay, material? the length is sixty. This particular one. Sixty. Thirty-six by sixty. You said word of mouth advertising. What are advertising? You've not started. I have to prepare the market before I start, sir. No, no, no. You have to ask some samples. What are you showing them? 
I make my I make my my wares. I make my garments. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show, season one. I'm into produce production, which I derive my appetizer drink. What is it in your appetizer or juice? Forget about the cancer that is mentioned. Let's talk about the asthma. Because asthma is a breathing problem, it's yes. a respiratory problem. You have difficulty in breathing. So, what would the person take in your juice or drink or appetizer that will make him or her? That's the um, ginger in it. Sorry. Have you done any analysis of the products when you did the sample? Yes, I've done that, but not yeah, not through the laboratory. Not through the Yes. Not the I went to um, friends and families and I gave it to no, us. No, no, no. They were trying to do probably on a essential evaluation of whatever that is. We're talking about analysis and a thorough analysis we've done on the we done on your product to ascertain the composition. My name is Adrian Mando. How do you want to do your product? How do you, how, how, how do you intend to sell your product to the government? Uh, who is your market? The public schools or the private schools? So this is the thing. We thought about um, like coming to the market. We don't intend to sell. So we're looking at um, a CSR project, how we can have students involved in environmental control at the same time we're giving back. So to, to, to create a seat, we take about 350 bottles. We can have students bring in enough to make two and we give them one. So it's and a non-profit organization? That is on the side. I mentioned earlier that 60% of our revenue will be generated from selling plastic flakes to other plastic manufacturing companies. My name is Umwani I am the managing director of Queen Foods. Take it to the school through a promotion you give it to them free of charge. That is how they'll get to know your products. For the first time, 25 entrepreneurs and technopreneurs will be competing for the star prize of 25 million, 15 million, and 10 million naira, respectively. The stake is high. Adrenaline pumping. A former industrialist is about to emerge. Watch the show online by downloading the CFlex app. All you need to do is to go to Google Play Store for Android device and on iOS App Store. Also watch online on www.lashantv.com or you can join us on Star Times on channel 173 Super Screen. You can also tune in on Terrestrial on UHF channel 45 Super Screen TV to watch our daily show Monday to Saturday 6.30 to 7 p.m. and Sunday live show 7 p.m. to 8 p.m live from the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Osho de Lagos. Repeat broadcast every day from 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is Africa's first industrial TV reality show brought to you by the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Osho de, and Lashon Links Communications Limited. For more inquiries and advert placements, please call 0906-000-3320. Fuel House, industrialized in Nigeria. TV reality show, season one.